When you're on fire as an instructor and you inspire an emotional response in your class participants, leading them through an exceptional experience, that's magic. You'll already have done your creative visualization, so what else can you do on stage to make sure that you're creating magic? Athletes call it being in the zone or having their heads in the game. Entertainers and rock stars, they talk about being totally in the moment. We call it fitness magic. And there are three conditions that have to be met to make magic happen. So the first condition is focus and preparation. This means nailing your choreography, nailing your technique, and your coaching is perfect, and connecting with the music and the moves instinctively. The only way to get to that level is... Practice. 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 Lots and lots of practice. For athletes and performers, the ability to be in flow, creating magic, is always based on a platform of hard work. Why does being completely prepared help you create fitness magic? Because it leaves your headspace free to focus on your class and not on yourself. So you stop thinking, what move's coming next? What cue should I use? How does my technique look? Have I done enough coaching? And because it allows you to transfer the focus onto your class participants and their experience, from in here to out there. As soon as you shift the energy away from your own performance into the experience of the people in front of you, then magic will happen. This is called unconscious competence. Much like when you're driving a car, you don't need to think about all the separate components of braking, accelerating and indicating. So preparation and hard work allow you to be unconsciously competent on stage. As your unconscious competence develops, you'll have more time in every track to connect with the music and your members. So practice. Now the second condition is confidence. Sharing your passion and love of the music with your class can take you right out of your comfort zone. But it's so important. So having great technique and coaching is essential for your class, but imagine teaching without the music. So how can you overcome your uncertainty and fear about expressing the music? What can you do to increase your confidence? Come back to the essence. So bring yourself back to what makes the program that you teach unique. Body Balance has an emotional energy that's very different from Body Pump, and Body Combat is different again. It's the music that taps us into that emotion. So remember your program's essence and interpret the music from there. Then, create awareness around the different emotions that music can convey. Let's think of the song, I got a feeling, ooh, ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night. When I hear this song, I hear party. So I get a little bit excited, I can feel the uplift and a real sense of anticipation. Or what about Thunderstruck? Thunder! It's angry, it's raw. Or single ladies, it's sassy and edgy with a hint of raunchiness. So you're in the essence of the program and you're really aware of the emotion in the music. The third thing you need to do is express the emotion. So here's my plain old marching face. Here's my thunderstruck face. And here's my single lady's face. It's easy to think that these guys are acting. But in fact, it's about letting the emotion that's inside you out. I mean, the last time you heard a joke, you didn't think to yourself, oh, I must remember to express the appropriate emotion. You know, lift the corners of the mouth, go, ha, 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 and slap yourself on the thigh. Of course you didn't. Your body and your face automatically let the emotion out. And it's exactly the same thing you do with a piece of music. Connect with the feel and let that feeling out. Yo, what's up everybody? Now check this out. Go to lesmills.com forward slash I saw Dan and you can win one of these fabulous hoodies or equally one of these ones. Now entries will close on the 31st of July, 2011. So back to Fitness Magic. Using our voice to convey emotion is a great way to express the feeling of each track and stay true to the essence of each program, just like you wouldn't deliver bad news with a really happy voice. I'm sorry, I crashed your car. It's not appropriate to teach body balance with a really aggressive voice or to teach body pump with a cutie pie la 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 voice. 
You know, it's not about faking a voice, it's about finding the range within your voice to let the emotions out. When you talk to your baby or your partner, your voice is different from when you're yelling at the guy who's trying to steal your iPod. It's always your voice, but you access different emotions when you use it. And here's a helpful hint. One of the most powerful things you can do is let the music speak. Make sure you only say what you need to say and then be quiet. Music equals magic, so shh. When your confidence around musical interpretation and performance rises, so does your ability to create magic. We're really looking forward to seeing you in action with clear class-focused objectives that really enable you to get out of your own headspace. And letting the power of the music speak through your body, your face, and your voice. Magic. <laughs>